right, our next winner comes from one of today's foremost chroniclers of immigrant lives in New York and New Jersey, a Polish immigrant herself, Martina Majok has come a long way from paying for her first theater ticket with money she won playing pool. <laughs> she is a Pulitzer Prize winner for her 2018 play, Cost of Living, and today we're honoring her 2020 play, Sanctuary City, which had its first performance on March 4th, 2020, which you may recall. <laughs> Mm. <laughs> was not the best time to open a play. But this wonderful play came back with an acclaimed production at the New York Theater Workshop last year. The entire off-Broadway community has been bruised by two years of circumstances beyond our control. So it seems fitting to honor a play about two teenagers whose lives are profoundly impacted by the complex cruelties of American immigration policies. Under the direction of Rebecca Frecknell, a talented young cast keeps us riveted on the personal story unfolding in front of us. And on an empty stage, they create a portrait of a friendship that is by turn, turns hilarious and heartbreaking, ecstatic and excruciating. Sanctuary City is the kind of drama that makes us proud to be a part of Off-Broadway, and we're thrilled to present this season's OBA Award for Best Play to Sanctuary City. Here to accept the award is the author of Sanctuary City, Martina Mayock. I got it right, I got it right. right. I was careful. Thank you. Uh, whoever wrote that, I want to kiss your face with a mask on, <laughs> with a mask on. Uh, <laughs> um, thank you to everyone who saw the play, <laughs> to read the play, um, uh, and thank you to so, so many people who made the production possible, which means extra, extra lots uh, in the past two years of, of, of living. Um, we were in previews when, when uh, everything shut down and we weren't sure if we were going to return. And of, of all the years for New York Theater Workshop to have had two plays happening at the same time, <laughs> the first time in their 40 plus beautiful history, it was March 2020. And uh, so we, we weren't sure if we'd come back because it was a rental. Um, and we, had, we were able to keep our setup for 18 months um, with, with hope. Um, and uh, and it happened. <laughs> um, so yeah, when when uh, when this when this came my way, I was uh, I'm my may cry now um, because it just means so much that um, that people came um, and that it was able to to be. Um, we work on these we write plays that 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 are mined from uh, we I all of us artists write plays mined from our, our demons and hopes and dreams and uh, and and just uh, hope that they can do something that they can move outside ourselves and, and touch other people and commune with other people and um, it was a lot of effort I know to make that possible so thank you uh, I'm, I'm gonna send some thank you to my table uh, <laughs> um, my agent Olivier who every time he shows up at, at, at an event I'm like oh you're here that's so nice. It means so much. I know many of your clients are really pissed at you right now, and that's really meaningful for me. Thank you. <laughs> and, and to Aaron and Rachel and to Jeremy for their emotional support, Jin, and Zooms, and friendship over this time. Um, it's, I know that it's through th much effort um, that this, that yours especially, that this happened. And through Taylor, we lost an actor. Um, uh, on top of, the, of everything, we lost an actor. And I remember Zooming with Taylor with her hair wet on a Saturday morning. She was ready with other names for people to, sh to show, show up. And I, it was the image of your hair wet. And I was like, I, you are here as soon as possible to be able to solve this problem. So thank you so much. And, and a special, a special, a special thank you and love to Caitlin Sullivan. Maybe um, this is not as um, uh, widely known, but Rebecca Frecknell wasn't able to come back to, to remount the production um, the second time. And Caitlin, who is an amazing director and who I've known for 12 years, 
uh, came and and generously and with so much humility uh, did the great work of bringing this play play back and con and continuing its life and I love her so much she's one of my dearest friends and and should be should may, may everyone sing your praises I love you so very much thank you um, and 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 my phone died no it didn't there it is um, <laughs> sorry I will I will get up I will get off stage now but um uh, last last things. Um, I, like maybe others here in this room, have been wondering what it all means um, uh, after these past two years and the past two months, and, and it sort of seems to continue. Um, uh, but I do look around the room and um, I don't know what it means, spoiler, um, but with such beautiful people, um, I think it'll be okay. <laughs> So thank you for welcoming me into your into your world and 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 um, I love you. I worked on that. <laughs> She said, thank you for saying my name right. <laughs> it's important. <laughs>